Because this is a poem that I wrote when George W. Bush was elected for the second time mm. uh, in the United States. And so I think this is from 2004. So this is 18 years ago. And it may seem irrelevant, but it's been nagging at me. So here it is. And, it, and, it, and it's called, this piece is called, Why Cannot the Good Prevail? Okay. Um, no, it's actually called America. And this is it. It says, why cannot the good prevail? Here in America, there is at heart a people just and true, open, sometimes to the point of ridicule, good neighbors to rebuild the barn. The doctor's note of Western legend carried forth beyond the grave. I knew your pa enough. In caucuses across the land, deliberate they'll always stand, defenders of the Rosenbergs, symbolic of that yearning to be better than before. They never will give up their brother to the grocer's cold machine, belt welts livid from the strong arm of the law. On campuses, in boardrooms, over giving thanks and pumpkin pie, on hustings in committee rooms, Whenever tyrants loomed, we always held in our esteem the ones who hold on to the dream, unflinching while the bullies pose and fiddle on the hill. Has commerce so reduced the free that, blinded like a tot, contaminated by the dog shit in the grass, we blunder slaves to humbug and this Texas dynasty? No. Beyond the grip of trade, the young, strained, beautiful, and proud, the hoarfrost breath of new blood needs but nudges from the old forgotten guard to scale the moral high, high grounds in the clouds. That, and that's what I wrote in 2004. And I sort of still stand by it. You know, there must be a path into the hearts of we, the people, to, into the hearts of the many.